How much time do you spend every day debating with yourself whether you should go and study or procrastinate a little longer? Well, let me give you some advice. Sometimes you have to ignore what you're feeling and just go through the motions. You might feel like watching TV. You might feel like doing something. You might not feel like doing something. And instead of not doing it, just go ahead and go through the motions. Get it done. Get out there and do what you're supposed to do. It's the problem most students have. They negotiate with procrastination. And at first, it's difficult to overcome. But the more you do it, the more you make yourself study even when you don't feel like it, the easier it will become. Get up and go and study. We all know the students that complain about their grades. They make excuses why they couldn't achieve higher. But because they're making excuses, they blame everyone else but themselves, so they don't do anything about it. They don't fix anything. They don't improve anything, so they continue getting the same grades. If all you do is complain, nothing's going to happen in your life. Be obsessed over your future. Be consumed by the possibilities. The super successful don't stop when they hit their targets. They simply reset and go again. That dream is not going to just sit there and wait for you to come and get it. You've got to chase it. You've got to chase it like a man possessed. You've got to go and get it. So, what are you doing about it? You've got to take action with your studying. Find a solution to your problem. Don't be the problem. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. If you increase your studying by 50%, your grades are also likely to increase. And if they don't, then find out why. As Owen Cook puts it, Success is like a quiet daily set of tasks. Real, real small. It's like that quiet walk to the library. That empty 24-7 library late at night. Over and over and over. Or as I sit there studying other great people and I compare their actions with my own actions. Over and over and over. Or as I sit doing 30 minutes of meditation a day. Over and over and over making the choice to eat foods that enhance my brain neurotransmitters over and over and over. It's a very quiet process where you're doing these simple little tasks but finding love in those simple little tasks. It's not the big thing where you do this one thing and something big happens. Being able to make a success out of your life, it's not purely down to luck. You have more control over it than you think. You can decide to be successful. You can decide to have the fast cars and the big house. And it starts right here, with your studying. Not because getting good grades is going to bring you success in the future. It's about the work ethic and the attitude you have towards your studying that will transfer to your work after you graduate. It's about believing that you can achieve something and doing whatever it takes to achieve it. It's about fine tuning the skills you have to zero in on your goals. The skills that you are improving while you're studying. Work ethic. Time management, reading, critical thinking, problem solving, decision making, focus, reasoning, persuasion, organization, overcoming obstacles, and self-motivation. These are all skills that all great students have improved and refined over years of efficient and effective studying. And it's these students that have made a decision that when the world is saying, that's impossible, you're not capable. Your dreams will stay as dreams. They have that lone voice that goes, no, you know what? It is possible. Just watch me. They have gone through this process of growth and they have pushed and pushed through all the obstacles that were thrown at them. 
It's important that you don't think of your studying as though it's all about passing your exams and getting a piece of paper at the end of it all so you can get a good job. Because it's so much more than that. And it's the great students that understand this. It's not about your exams. It's about the process and the journey you go on and the skills you refine over the years. It's about when you don't feel like studying, but you continue to push through and study anyway. It's doing the things that you need to do, that you know you need to do when you don't feel like doing it. Because the reality is, is that most people can study when they're feeling good. Most people can study when they have no distractions, when they're in a quiet environment, when there's pressure put on them as a deadline is approaching. But just being able to study on the highs isn't good enough. You have to be able to study all the time. So learning how to refocus your mind on the lows and knowing the lows are going to end is a huge skill. The process is just as important as the actual prize because the process is going to make you. The deeper the process, the greater the reward. Just remember, the prize is going to be huge. Stop making excuses and get it done. There's nobody in this world that's going to get you what you want. You're going to have to go out there and get what you want by studying hard. Being talented is not good enough. You've got to study hard and you've got to work hard. Stop waiting for somebody to come in there and make your life perfect. Make your life great. You got to do it. You got to make the change in your life that you want to happen. You cannot depend on anybody. The only person I'm ever going to rely on in this world is myself because I know that's the one thing I can control. My attitude and my mentality. Stop doing what you're doing every single day unless you're dedicated to being great. It's so sad to see so many young people give up on the life they want to live just because they're scared of failure. Most people fear failure so much that they don't even try. Therefore, they fail just by default. Achieving incredible grades will never be easy, but the only way you can guarantee to get poor grades is to not even try in the first place. Don't fear putting yourself out there. There's too much pressure to fit in. Fit in with friends, fit in with society, too afraid to dream about what you are capable of and going out there and grabbing life by the horns. Believe in yourself. If you can dream it, then you can be it. If you believe it, then you can achieve it. And it might not happen straight away. It might take you longer than you expect. An F grade student doesn't transition to an A grade student overnight. But if you're committed and maintain belief that in the end you will achieve the results you are chasing, then there's absolutely nothing getting in your way. It is within you. You just gotta find it. So when your alarm clock goes off, you have a decision to make. And it takes discipline to do this, to get up and to make every single minute of your day count. And you gotta do this every day, no matter what it takes. If you really want it that bad, you better get used to being uncomfortable. What you concentrate on is what you get. You've got to concentrate. If you concentrate, you'll get the grades that you want. If you concentrate on improving your work ethic every day, an incredible work ethic is what you'll get. If you concentrate on success every day, success is what you'll get. It's not a difficult concept to understand. If you want to do something in your life, whatever it is, it's going to take concentration. Don't stop. Obstacles, challenges, distractions. Keep moving forward. The feeling of getting the same mediocre grades, every exam, every report, every assignment. The feeling of being tired of getting beaten up by procrastination. The feeling of anxiety and stress every time a deadline approaches. It's the tiredness that will propel you to have the motivation to change, the desire to get off the ground and stand up and stop eating dirt. The battleground is in your mind. 
That's where the war is. It's in your head. That's where the enemy fights. That's where procrastination and temptations lie. As soon as you wake up, the battle begins. And it continues throughout the day. Through temptations and seductions, the battle continues. And your friends see you studying and studying. They see you studying all day. And you make it look so easy. But they have no idea of the gunfire going off in your head. Because the real battlefield is in your mind. It's never the situation you find yourself in. It's always in your head. This is your moment. This is your year of transformation. Complete rethinking, re-examining, rescheduling, re-evaluating. This is the battlefield. It's not exams. It's not reports. It's not enemies. It's not teachers. It's not parents. That's not the battlefield. Stop wasting your time focusing on these things and look within you. It is something that is ingrained in every successful person to look at the external problems around you and improve and fix yourself to be able to overcome those problems. The ability to push through difficult times. The more you overcome today, the easier you will overcome obstacles tomorrow. And once you build up that momentum of improving your productivity, it becomes a whole lot easier. And it's funny how it works. The more you study, the more you prepare for your exams, the easier your exams will be. The easier university will be, the easier it will be to get a good internship or graduate job after you graduate. It's really very simple. The more effort you put into developing yourself and improving your studying, the easier your life will be. Respect the struggle of your journey. Because it's the struggle that will build you to become stronger. But be persistent. Keep working on it. It's going to be hard, but that is an incredible thing. Because you're going to figure it out. You will pull through. You have enough time. You have enough resources. You have enough commitment. You will find a way to smash your exams. You will figure things out. When tomorrow comes, you might not know what steps to take, but believe in yourself. I like how Andy Frisella put it. He said, Have you done what you said you were going to do on January 1st last year? Did you stick to your New Year's resolutions? Or did you just talk about doing them? Did you just tell yourself that you were going to do it? Doing anything successful, doing anything important is going to take discipline. There's always going to be a reason to wait. There's always going to be a busy schedule. There's always going to be something unexpected that happens. It's always going to be that way. You have to work through it. You have to prioritize your studying and make it more important than everything else going on in your life. But a lot of you don't want it enough. It's easy to fall into loving the idea of something, and it's hard to fall into the habits of action to actually achieve the grades you're aiming for. It's not about after the vacation, or after the film, or after the YouTube video. It's about right now. People who succeed stick to the plan regardless. When you tell yourself you're going to study four hours tonight for your exam next week, you need to do it. You are all curious about what the secret is, why certain people succeed when you don't succeed. Well, I'm going to tell you why. Successful people, while you're whining and crying about how things are hard and why things aren't fair, guess what they're doing? They're doing the studying. You have to commit to becoming better. You have to commit to being a person of action. You have to commit to being someone who doesn't just talk, but follows through. 
become someone who does, instead of someone who just talks. If you really want it, it's yours to take. No one gives it to you or takes it away. It's yours if you want it. It's a marathon, not a sprint. There's no fast fix to achieving extraordinary grades. There will be days you'll be tired, even exhausted, but you continue regardless because you don't judge it on the daily. You judge it in the long frame. You keep your eyes on graduation. You know there's going to be ups and downs, but you know that it's all going to be worth it. You know that when you start getting results, it's going to be worth it. You'll look in the mirror and you'll say, yeah, I did this. You feel this overwhelming feeling that you're overworking the crowd. You're overworking everybody around you. You're studying more than that. You became something. You became somebody. And once you get there, that's when you know you've done enough. But don't talk about it. Practice what you preach and just do it. It won't happen overnight. It's going to take months and months of work. Just don't quit. You keep fighting. You keep fighting no matter what. Because trust me, on graduation day, you'll look back over the last few years and you'll realize it was worth it.